Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'd like to welcome you to our video review of the 50-inch Panasonic TCP50 ST30 3D Plasma TV. The ST30 line is the entry-level line of the 3D plasmas that adds 3D capability to the popular S30 line of plasma televisions. We'll be going over some of the TV's features and its picture quality with high-definition and standard-definition sources. We'll be covering the 50-inch model in this review, but this also applies for the 42, 46, 55, 60, and 65-inch models as well. Even before you turn it on, the ST30 looks better than last year's Panasonic's. The bezel is understated and puts focus on the screen. Depth-wise, the TV is about 1.5 inches deep at the top, but then widens to just over 2 inches at the bottom, where it houses the speakers and much of the electronics. Speaking of audio, the 10-watt stereo speakers in the ST30 were impressive when compared to many of the TVs we've covered this year. The sound was rich, and even with the sound emulation feature turned on, dialogue is still fairly audible. The backlit remote is plain looking, but in the case of function over fashion, it has quick access buttons for just about every feature you need while watching TV. The new menu system for the 2011 Panasonic Plasmas is excellent. It's fast and user-friendly, two features we find most important when making adjustments to your TV's settings. For inputs, the ST30 has three HDMI 1.4 inputs, two USB inputs, an analog component, and composite inputs, though these require a breakout cable to connect as they are all subbed into one jack on the back of the set. The 3D feature is what sets this plasma apart from other entry-level models, and it did not disappoint. Gone was the slight flashing we noticed in the previous 3D plasma, and the picture has impressive depth. 3D glasses are not included in the box, so expect to pay around $180 for each pair that you'll need. The ST30 features Panasonic's Viera Connect for access to online streaming video from services such as Netflix and Amazon Video On Demand. There are also apps for news, weather, finance, and sports services, as well as radio from Pandora. Some of the apps require a premium subscription, but many are free. The Viera App Store gives you access to many more items, including games. Prices range from free to around $10 for the software we saw available. For an entry-level plasma, we enjoyed the picture on the ST30 when viewed with a high-definition source. Though we noticed some slight instability in the picture during certain scenes, the post-calibration color really popped, and the excellent black levels and dark shadow detail impressed. Typical of plasmas, the picture retained its contrast and color at just about every angle. The ST30 series is not THX certified and does not contain a THX picture mode, unlike some of the higher tier 3D plasmas from Panasonic. The aforementioned instability still exists with standard definition sources, but the ST30 does a good job of cleaning up input even from the lowly 480i composite input. Colors were still rich, and shadow detail is still a strength. With the motion smoother option off, you will notice some jutter during slow pans, but the small amount of jutter is still better than the soap opera effect imparted by the motion smoother option. This is a feature you should turn off and leave off, in our opinion. In the test shown, we are testing the television processor's ability to deal with various issues. In the video resolution loss test, we're looking for flicker here. There's a bit of flicker, but the ST30 receives a good result. The film resolution loss test looks similar to the video loss test, however, it's much harder on the processor. Some wobble and picture instability gives this TV a poor result on this test. The TCP50 ST30 can be found for around $1,300 at authorized dealers, and we feel this is a good value for a 3D plasma with a good picture and fairly robust feature set. Remember to add the cost of each pair of 3D glasses you'll need if you plan to use that feature. Our overall score for the ST30 comes in at about 8.5 on our 10-point scale. See the full review with our ratings breakdown and picture settings at 3D TV Buying Guide.